You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. I have a lot of stories about sex this week. <laughs> mm. Mm. Which one? How about this one? This comes, uh, this comes from listener Nick via Twitter. He sent it to me. It's about a local fertility specialist who, after 40 years in medicine, is retiring. And so they're asking him, it's this, this write-up about him, and they're asking him, hey, what, uh, you know, what's, what about your storied career? What's something yeah, that, yeah. that may have stuck out to you? <clears throat> That's a long time. 40, 40 years. 40 years. Yeah. Fertility. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. But his strangest case by far involved a <laughs> husband and wife who didn't realize they weren't actually having intercourse oh, until shit. Levine straightened them out. This is Dr. Shit. Levine. The man had mistaken the space between his wife's thighs for her genitalia. How do you think that conversation went? <laughs> how, how did this come up? Hey, guys. Yeah. Um, so we we have sex a lot, and she ain't getting pregnant. Yeah. Okay. Well, what do you mean by having sex? No, not even that. Like, do you realize how much they must have gone through until he's like, okay, put your dingle in her dangle and show me how this works? Because for the love of God, we've tried everything. <laughs> what is going on with you guys? And he's like, see, just like this. And the doctor's like, oh god. They had to eliminate. I mean, how long did it take to eliminate all the possible That's problems? What I'm saying. Like, okay, we know that you're fertile. We've done a sperm count. Right. We know that you're fertile. Like, we checked your whatever vitals. <laughs> I don't know how they even do yeah, that. I don't know either. I guess. Um, yeah. <laughs> they know that her 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 garden is fertile. Yes. And yet, no baby. So show me how you plow the earth, son. Show me. The weird thing is that when I gave your wife an exam, I noticed that there was no semen anywhere to be found. Oh you would think... Where are you putting... <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on there. They're like, I don't understand how it's supposed to get inside. Like, like how long has this skinny little bastard been dry humping you and you've just been going along with it? Like... My, oh, I just thought my husband sucked at it. Like, <laughs> and I don't know. Did, I'm sure that he helped them reproduce, right? Thanks a lot, doctor. <laughs> there's there's a reason people like that yes. can't have kids, just like the Octomom or whatever. Like, there's a reason. Like, don't argue with nature, dude. Just be like, yeah, keep it up. It is an evolutionary just keep adaptation. Trying. Just keep trying. Oh, God. Dear God. Yes. Yes. I love it. <laughs> mm. uh, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. You are not doing it right. It is arguably the most basest of instincts. And you're doing I mean... it wrong. <laughs> it is in the Every fiber of code in your DNA that you need to do this, and you're doing it wrong. Ben is on the floor right now, screaming at the heavens. Uh, holy shit. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 